Alright, that's so good. So good. It's so good. So good. There you have it. It's Well, what's up guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead. And in this video, we're going to be talking about a crop that I'm not sure a lot of people grow, but I think you should. And that is the Hailstone Radish. These, this bed here, um, got spinach here and cabbage back there, but this little area right here is all Hailstone Radishes. Uh, the seeds came from MI Gardener. You guys know I plant a lot of MI Gardener seed. Um, you can tell in the picture why they're called Hailstone Radishes. They're just solid white. Um, you can get these seeds a lot of different places um, and they're really not a lot different than most other radishes you know most of them are red a red skin with a white flesh um, but these radishes specifically um, I really enjoy I'm really liking them this is the first year I've grown them uh, you guys saw a while back we started them from seed in soil blocks I do a lot of things in soil blocks and then squeeze the handle Squeeze, 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 and lift up. Kind of give it a shake. There you go. Great job, buddy. Give me some knuckles. Perfect. I'm put two in here. I mean one. Yeah. Radishes can be started directly in the garden in the spring or fall. Direct sown, they'll do perfect. But I like to do things in soil blocks because that means it'll be less time in my beds. They'll be taking up my uh, valuable space in my raised beds for less time so i'll take my soil blocks make a soil block up put about two three seeds in each soil block and i don't thin them the radishes will grow out of that soil block and they'll kind of kind of bloom out of there and each radish will kind of go its own direction they do just fine now hellstone radishes from what i've seen so far uh, with most radishes the greens are kind of kind of prickly and 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 they're just not real fun to touch. They kind of they kind of poke you and scratch you. The uh, greens on these hailstone radishes are more like a turnip green. They're nice and tender, and actually, I really like eating the greens. I'll eat them fresh. We juice some of them. Um, you could saute them down just like you would spinach or something. They've got a very mild flavor, but like a hint of radish to it. They're not prickly like most most radish greens. You know the the the, the stems and leaves just I can't stand to eat them because they're too prickly. These are super tender, awesome, really actually kind of tasty. I'll take you in a little bit closer in just a second. Show you what these uh, radishes look like in in the bed, um, and then we'll take some inside. We'll harvest a few, show you what they look like, and take you inside and let you um, see how my wife is going to prepare them for our lunch today. So these radishes are doing amazing, but right now they're kind of covered in ladybug larvae. And there's a ladybug there. I've noticed lots of ladybugs working these, which tells me uh, I've got, I do know that I have some aphids on some other crops, but uh, the ladybugs are in here eating the aphids off these radish greens, which is perfectly fine by me because, um, you know, ladybugs are amazing little creatures. So let's pull some of these greens back. And you can see the radishes down there. Look at that big radish right there. Um, I plant them in little clumps. Like I said, I'll put two or three seeds in each one, each soil block. And they do really, really well. These hailstone radishes kind of remind me of like a small turnip. But the flavor is just amazing. Here, let's pull a few. So there's, there's what you're going to get with a hailstone radish. The greens, like I said, are 100% edible. The top, or the uh, the root, which is what most people eat on a radish, they're amazing. So let's get a few more of these picked. So radishes are a super fast growing crop. Like I said, we start them in the soil blocks, let them grow for a couple weeks, get up a couple inches tall, and then I move them out here, just kind of on a little grid pattern into my raised beds. Now these aren't hailstone radishes. A couple different varieties here, watermelon radish and a china rose, but you kind of get the gist. And I actually honestly could plant these a lot closer together. Radishes don't take up a lot of space. Real tight spacing, they'll, they'll do great. Just plenty of room for that little bulb to grow as long as you've got good fertile soil. 
They'll do amazing. So now that I've got them all washed up and clean, you can actually tell put that in front of that black background, you can see why these things are called a hailstone radish. They're just super white. They look like a turnip. I used to grow hackerai turnips, grown those for a couple of years, and these remind me of a hackerai turnip, but they've got a little more radish flavor. Now growing up, I thought the only way anyone ever ate a radish was raw. And uh, radishes kind of have a little bit of a spicy flavor. And the longer you let them grow, the bigger they get. Usually the more spicy they get. But these have a, have a really good radish flavor without the spice. They're not spicy at all. Super tender, super white fleshed all the way through. And like I said, slice them, put them on a salad, maybe put a little sprinkle of salt on them. They're delicious. Super, super good. Really like them. And like I said, the greens are 100% edible too. Take the small leaves, throw them in a salad, or juice them, saute them down, anything. They're delicious. Eat them raw, amazing. Now, like I said, I thought that was the only way anyone ever ate radishes for years and years and years. Well, my wife and I just recently started cooking them. And we've, we've tried them a couple different ways. We've steamed them, just like with some broccoli and carrots, just steamed them down. Oh my gosh, they're amazing, amazing. The other night, we took some in and sauteed them, kind of made a little stir fry. Uh, and they're kind of like a potato. They're like, um, they lose the radish flavor. My wife says they kind of taste like a cabbage a little bit, but we can cut these up into little cubes and stir fry them with a few other vegetables and our kids would never know they weren't potatoes. I promise you. So I'm gonna take some in the house and let my wife do some cooking and show you how we're gonna prepare these for our lunch today. All right, guys, so we're in the kitchen with my lovely, beautiful wife, and we're going to do a little cooking. I'm going to let her explain to you what she's going to make, and uh, we've got some fresh vegetables from the garden. We picked some carrots and those hailstone radishes, so she's going to do a little cooking, a little lunch video. Yay! I'm going to cut these up, and then I'm going to put some real butter in the pan, not fake butter real butter. Uh, I don't have a name for it. It's a stir fry, I guess, basically, because we just started making this with these the other night. Um, they're super good. I'm thinking they'll replace a lot of potato recipes. I like cooking with the small potatoes, just the little roaster potatoes. Um, but these are so mild when you cook them that I'm thinking I could suck our kids out and get a healthier option in them. So we're gonna make a little stir fry. We've got some leftover chicken and we're gonna cut up, she's gonna cut up these carrots, radishes, some zucchini, some chives, onions, and just make a little stir fry with these radishes and they will be amazing. Like she said, we're kind of using them in place of potatoes. Should be a little less starchy, a little healthier than potatoes, and they taste amazing. What? What are you stirring up? Doing lots of stirring for some butter. Well, there's some scrapings from yesterday on it. Mm. Yeah. So you're cooking in a dirty pan? I am. really close okay so the vegetables have been cooking for about 10 15 minutes we've just been waiting for them to kind of soften up brown a little bit and now I'm gonna add the chicken it's already cooked so I just need to heat it up and then I'll add the chops Yum. We're going to have a little official taste testing because we all know she's the taste tester. <laughs> so this is a super simple recipe. Guys, it's nothing complicated. Just cut up some vegetables, whatever you got fresh at the time. Um, to go with those radishes, you know, you could use broccoli, cauliflower, um, carrots, all kinds of different things. Um, super simple recipe, but those radishes just add a whole lot to it. 
they're super awesome. They taste great. Um, good replacement for potatoes in a in a recipe like this. Um, we posted a video a long time ago, a cooking video with my lovely wife here um, about the the Polish Polish sausage, potatoes, squash, and zucchini. And uh, that video has done really well for us. But the radishes could be a a substitute for the potatoes in that. So, well, this is super good. I added um, some Parmesan cheese because I put cheese on everything. And it's so good. So good. It's so good. So good. There you have it. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Every one of my recipes comes out and she says, Yeah, 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 it's okay. Uh, he's not a great cook. <laughs> Well, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hey, if you're uh, not familiar with Luke at MI Gardener, I'll leave a link to his channel and his website. You can use coupon code ARMS10. You'll save 10% on seeds. I've grown a lot of Luke's seeds over the years, and they're amazing. They do really well for us. And they're super cheap, like 99 cents a pack. I love supporting small American companies, and Luke's business is growing, and I'm super happy for him, super excited to see what the future holds for Luke over at MI Gardener. And... Uh, yeah, we're going to have us a little lunch, homegrown. We didn't, of course, we didn't grow the chicken or the zucchini, but we will have fresh zucchini soon. So Looking forward to that. Yeah, we eat a lot of squash and zucchini. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Get out there and grow some of those hailstone radishes. Eat them fresh. Saute them. Steam them. Save the greens. You can eat the greens. Juice the greens. They're really delicious. Awesome crop. Go check them out. Grow you some for yourself. Guys. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day. And as always, we'll see you on the next video. Peace out.